A scenic location for the filming of an Olympics theme song and a fitting personality to sing its tune and front its music video. A poster boy for the Beijing 2008 Olympics, Jackie Chan invites CNN to capture his long day shooting. Back in the studios, Chan shoots his Olympics promo. And tests his vocals for one of the theme songs, Stand Up. One of the big things that you're doing is serving as an ambassador for the Beijing Olympic Games. But there are plenty of people who are extremely concerned. They say that China doesn't deserve to have the Olympics because it hasn't dealt with pollution and human rights, for example. Are you saying that those things don't concern you? That's not China problem. It's the whole world problem. But it's inside China. Yeah. It's got to be dealt with from the inside the first. How, you look at the pollution in L.A. Look at the pollution in... in, in, in Russia, you look at the pollution in everywhere around the world. That's the whole world problem. There are so many countries have a human right, but now everybody just against China. No, that's a that's a not fair. That's a more politic than 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 the Olympic. They use the Olympic to do something. Let Ch China change. It, we change not cannot be one day. Everybody can see China change. We have 1.4 billion people, not 300 million people. There's so many problems in China. We've <clears throat> been seeing the, uh, the crackdown by China um, on protesters in Tibet. Are you worried at least about the way that the world sees China, about the image that China has ahead of the games? I think a lot of people, I, I, I don't know politics, I just uh, know a lot of people use the good timing to do some things, to uh, force China government, I want to do that, I want this. I, I want this. I don't know who's right, who's wrong. I don't. That's a history problem. Okay. Let's talk about you know, way, way, way before, early in your life. You were born in Hong Kong and your parents worked at the French embassy, but they weren't well off at all. So there's a story that they sold you to the Peking Opera School when you no. were six years old. Yes, they tried to sell me to a British doctor, not the school. How much did they try and sell you for? Hundred, hundred something US. Hundred something US? Yeah. Then somehow he borrowed the money from the friend, uh, all, all the friends, and then the, he bring me up, you know, grow me up. Then still, they have no money. They want more money, so they they have to go to an American embassy in Australia. So they took me to the martial arts school. At the martial arts school, in itself, it just sounds like life was absolutely horrific. What was a typical day like? We only from five o'clock in the morning get up, running, okay. And running, the the teacher would fill the water full cup, use two hands to run, without spill up, and it, and they hit you. So when you run, you have to keep your lock your whole body. Just run with the feet like this. It's not run like this. Just run like that. Sometimes, sometimes that's an easy one. Sometimes when you do 
boom, you know, the, the fist up. Yeah. Then he said, stop. Then like a hundred children just stop. <laughs> Somehow he put a teacup, an ashtray, just like this, for one hour. And when you, you fell down, pow, just give you a hit, hit you. It trained the discipline. They train, it's like an army. You're the world's most famous martial arts star, but before you there was, of course, Bruce Lee. You knew him, you worked with him. Tell us what it was like to appear with him in a huge movie like you did on Enter the Dragon. And I remember when he becoming a big star, I was a stunt guy. One day, I, work, I was walking the street in the peninsula, Jim Sa Joy. Mm -hmm. Then he was walk by. He walked by. Hi, Jackie, where are you going? I said, Hi, Bruce, I'm going to play bowling. B bowling? Yeah. I'm going to bowling alley. Can I go with you? I said, What? Yes. I still just, I feel, suppose I'm going to the bus station. But when he said, Go with me, I just turn around and get the taxi. Taxi is very expensive for, for me. As soon as I get up, I'm becoming a huge hero. Everybody, Bruce Lee. Go away, go. I was like a bodyguard. <laughs> go away, go, 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 go. No sign, no photo. Sign, go, go. Then he just sit there with a big bell. You know the, the jeans, like this? Oh, bell-bottom jeans? Yeah. yeah. High heels? <laughs> uh, uh, that day, the old day. Yeah. Then I remember he just sit there like this. Watch me. I was very good. Look at my... my, my bowling my, trophies. Yeah, bowling trophy. Then I, I, I play, I think, almost one and a half game. Then he just suddenly, I show off, I show to him how good I am. Then he said, Jackie, yes, sir. Uh, I think I'm leaving. Oh, I said, okay. I sent him to the uh, uh, street. We got the taxi. The very funny feeling. He opened the door, turned around. He just walk, walk, walk. I said, bye-bye. I, I call him Xiu Long Go, uh, dragon brother. Xiu Long Go. I, I was, Xiu Long Go, bye-bye. Then he turned around. He tried to say something. Uh, he dis didn't say it. He just turned around. The last, remember, I said, bell, bell jeans. The, the last feet go into the, the car is the high. 